Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about two different ways that we can get information from users. Um, and basically, these are two form methods called get and post. And I'm just gonna talk about the difference between the two of them and we'll kind of look at what they're doing and when you should use get and when you should use post. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, down here, I have a basic program set up. Basically, I have this form and all it's doing is asking the user for a password. So here I have this input and it's a type password and the name is called password, right? And whenever we put type password over here, this is actually gonna give us a text box which like is a password. So you'll see over here in this text box, like when I type in it sort of like, you know, blocks it out. And that's basically just like, you know, you can see that a lot on different websites, just so nobody can see what you're typing in when you're typing in your password. And then obviously we have this submit button and then down here in the PHP, I'm just echoing out the password. So that way we can just like see what I enter in. So if I came over here, I could like enter in a password. Um, and then when I click submit, the password will show up down here. So I just, my password was word pass. And I wanna to talk to you guys now about the different ways that we could get something like a password from the user. So over here and up to this point in this course, whenever we've been building these forms, we've always set this method equal to get. And basically when we set this method equal to get, what's gonna happen is the information that the user enters is obviously it's gonna get you know submitted into PHP and we're gonna be able to use it, but that information is also going to get put up in the URL as a URL parameter. And a URL parameter is basically just, you know, a way that we can um, pass information into PHP. So when I use this get method, you'll see over here when I entered in my password, the password actually showed up up here inside of the URL. So if I was to enter in another password, like I'll enter another password, click submit, I entered in banana. And now because I used that get method over here, the password is actually showing up inside of the URL. Now I'm sure you can imagine like this is not a good scenario for a password. Certain information that we're passing into our PHP pages is gonna be fine to show up there in the URL, right? It's not gonna be a problem. Like it doesn't really matter with certain pieces of information, but with a password, if your password is actually showing up inside the URL, that is extremely insecure. And also I could come up here and I could change it. So I could change the password to like orange. And now the password is like updated throughout the entire page, right? So a piece of information like a password is not something that should be stored up there inside the URL. And it's not something that the user should just be able to change willy nilly whenever they want in the URL. In a situation like that, where we have information that we want to you know, pass between the client and the server more securely, we want to use the post method. So down here, instead of saying get, I'm actually just gonna say post. And just with that one change, this is actually gonna update. So down here, if we're using post, if I wanna actually be able to print this out, instead of saying get, I'm just gonna say post all in caps. So basically this over here is gonna match this down here. And post is basically just gonna do exactly what get did, except it's gonna do it without placing it up, up in the URL parameter. And there's also like a couple other small differences, like when you use post, um, you can actually get potentially more information from the user than when you use get. But the main difference is that when we use post, it's gonna be more secure. So that information isn't gonna show up inside of the URL. So over here, if I was just to like refresh my page, you'll see when I refresh my page, even though I have password equals to orange up here in the URL, it's not showing up down here anymore, right? So that information, like when I put the information up here, it wasn't able to show up. But if I was to enter in a password into this text field because it's using this post method, so if I entered in um, my password and I click submit, now we're gonna be able to grab that information securely. And you'll notice up here in the URL, there's no information. Right, That information did not show up in the URL. It got passed between the client and the server in a more secure fashion. That's basically the difference between get and post. Get is just kind of like anything goes, anyone can see the information, it's up there in the URL. And in a lot of cases, that's gonna be useful. But in a lot of other cases, like in the case of a password or even like a username or you know a credit card number, I mean, any type of like secure information, um, you don't want it to show up inside that URL. You want it to be passed um, more securely back to PHP. And 
we can use post in order to do that. So like I said, in certain circumstances, get's gonna be appropriate. In certain circumstances, post is gonna be appropriate. But now that you kind of know the difference, you can kind of make that decision for yourself. And this is just a quick note um, about PHP in general. Most of the time, developers are going to prefer to use post as opposed to get whenever they're you know getting information from a form just like this. So a lot of times you'll see people using post more so than using get. Um, get is gonna be used more with like URL parameters, but here's the thing. It's really up to you. It's up to you, the developer, to make the decision as far as like what you want to be able to happen um, when that form gets submitted. But like I said, I think for the most part, people prefer to use post over get when they're getting information from a form. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.